Yo, what's up guys, Mike Red Fox. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to GPU solo mine Quai on their brand new zero fee Stratamex pool. I've been in GPU mining since 2017, which means I've been through the really great days and the really not so great days. And recently, Quai has caught my attention and this is not a sponsored video. This is just something that I'm doing anyway. So I figured I'd walk you through it as I do it along with you in case it's helpful. You probably noticed right here is my GPU mining rig, and this is my 40 series cards, one of each just to test, and then the same thing for the 50 series up above. But in this video also, we're gonna be working on the CMP170HX mining rig that's out in the garage. And if you wanna learn more about that really mysterious CMP GPU, I have a really fun video linked up in the card for you to check out. But let's take a look at my Hive OS. These are the three rigs that I currently have on, and I've turned them on to mine Quai, and they've been doing it for a little bit now. And they've been doing it on K1 pool and everything's been pretty much great. And I was just gonna stick on there. I've been solo mining on there. But then I saw that Quai had released Stratamex and it really caught my attention. And I'm gonna move everything over to there, but there are some reasons you might wanna stick on K1 pool. And we'll go over that a little bit as we go into this video. I'm also gonna show you one of the tricky things about getting set up on Stratamex that's probably different than a standard mining pool. And we are gonna do all of this in HiveOS though. If you're gonna do this in Windows, everything applies. You're just gonna do it in the batch file in Windows instead of doing it through a flight sheet in HiveOS. So let's get started here. What is Stratamex? Stratamex powers a centralized mesh of high performance Stratum servers. They're optimized for speed and built for miners who demand full control. There's no KYC. KYC is know your customer, so they don't have to know you. You're not, there's no tracked accounts. You don't, they're not gonna know your email address. You don't have to sign up for an account like you do on many mining pools. It's just straight up anonymous mining. Except for your IP address, which you might want to hide through a VPN, which I have on by default on the uh, desktop that you're looking on right now. And also what caught my attention is that there's 0% pool fees. So you're keeping all of the Quai that you mine, and this is all solo mining. And why it can work, even with a single GPU, is how the Quai protocol is set up, which is similar to a mining pool on network. So you're producing work shares that are sent to Quai, and Quai is paying you for that. And they're thinking in all of this is we wanna pay you for security, for your hashing power, not just the block producer. I think that's really cool. So big fan of that. We'll check it out. So we're gonna be doing Kapow on here. Well, let's hit start mining, we'll get into this. We're gonna be doing Kapow on here because that's GPUs, but you can do this with your SHA-256, A6, or your little at-home solo miners, and also with your script A6 or your at-home script miners. We're gonna be doing GPUs today. So um, let's see, how to connect. Let's, let's walk through this. So there it is right there. It is 0% fee, solo, pay per share payout. So our mining rigs are gonna be submitting shares to the Quai pool here, and we're gonna get paid in Quai based on the amount of shares that we send over. So that's gonna be an important thing to remember. Okay, let's see, what else do we need? Um, you need to have your wallet address. So a couple options. You can do the Pelagus wallet, which is a Chrome browser extension that you can use in Brave, similar to MetaMask. You can do Tandrum, which is a hardware wallet. I'm actually doing that right now. I have that set up. I just got that all set up. And um, again, not a sponsored video, but I, I did get this for free down at Mining Disrupt. Maybe this influenced me, but this is the, the Quai branded Tandrum. So I'm using Tandrum. So maybe, that, maybe that's why I'm doing this video. I got that and it just, it just influenced me to do this. No, I'm just kidding. All right, let's keep going. All right, so configure pool settings. We gotta do all that. Um, here's the stratum, here's what we need. Okay, we're gonna do Americas, that's where I'm at. So we need that for sure. And we need my wallet address as well. So let's get start, started setting this up in good old Hive OS. So I gotta, I gotta create a wallet and we're gonna type in Quai. And then I need to get my wallet address, which is in my Tandrum right here. So let me show you it here in Tandrum. So you can see Quai Network right there. When I select that, I can select receive and then just copy my receiving address. And then I'm just gonna put that right into HiveOS here. Paste that in and we're just gonna call this Tandrum and create. 
All right, now we can go to flight sheets and we're gonna create a flight sheet for Quai. And we're gonna select the tangent wallet. And now we have to configure the pool in the miner since this is a little bit different than a normal mining pool and it's not in Hive OS. And then the mining software we're gonna use is Regal. So we're gonna click on setup miner configuration and we have to do a few things in here. We're gonna add the wallet. Uh, we're gonna come back to password in just a second. We're gonna add the worker name and let's get that pool URL in first. So we're gonna come over here and grab the Americas one, go back, paste it into the flight sheet. Now we do have to do something for pass and this is a little bit different than what you probably are used to. So let's come down here. We need to set and define the difficulty for this mining hardware. So they have some suggestions here already built in. So if you have a single GPU, this is where you can start with. I have multiple GPUs. So I'm gonna select a custom hash rate. And what it says here is that this should be for all of your workers, all put together, not just a single GPU. So let's go look. What are all of my workers right now? We've got, um, there's an easy way to figure this out. I might have to, yeah, there we go. 920 mega hash is what I have right now over on Quai. So let's go ahead and put that in Stratum X here. 920 mega hash. And then it's gonna tell me that I need to set the difficulty at D equals six, and that goes in the password field of the miner itself. So let's get back in there, enter that in the password field, and we're just gonna apply changes, and we're gonna hit create flight sheet. Okay, so there's our flight sheet now, and I'm gonna name this one, so I remember that this is Stratum X. This is not K1 pool. So let's update that. Okay, now what we need to do is just go to each one of our workers and update that flight sheet. I'm gonna start first with my 50 series here and we're gonna to update to Stratum X. Got it. And then we're gonna to go to my 40 series and let's do the same thing. We're gonna to update to Stratum X. And let's go find now that CMP rig, which I see is running pretty warm. I have some work to do on that rig for sure. Long overdue. And let's go ahead and update that to Stratum X as well. So now all the workers are off of K1 pool and they are all moving over to Stratum X. So let's pull up the miner in here and make sure it's working. Oh, of course, I gotta go back and adjust this one thing in the flight sheet that HiveOS just has not updated yet. So we're gonna go to edit. And in the mining software itself, I have to change the hashing algorithm to Kapow instead of Quai because now Quai uses Kapow. We'll update all workers. And once this refreshes, we should not be getting any errors here. So we got it launched in there. Got it launched in there. And CMP rig is taking its time. Of course, so let's check in on that. I think it's coming up. There we go, it's coming up. I gotta work on that one. Okay, so now all of these are launching to Stratum X. And so what I can do from here is go to Stratum X and then I can start to search my miner. I have to go grab that wallet address. We're gonna go back to Hive wallets. We're gonna search Quai. And we're gonna grab the Tandrum wallet here. Put that in, in Stratum X here. And we now are gonna start seeing the miners come on. Actually, this is pretty quick. So you can see three active workers are already up. I've submitted one share so far. We'll let that go for a little bit and we'll discuss the one reason, and it's a pretty big one, you may wanna stay with K1 Pool. See, with Quai mining, what's happening is you're not gonna get paid out for around two weeks after you've mined the block. That's because of the amount of confirmations it has to go through, and the maturity of the block time is about two weeks. So if you're mine Quai now, you won't see that Quai from two weeks from now. For me, 
I don't mind because I'm spec playing this and I'm probably gonna hold on to most of it for a while to see where it goes. But if you wanna get paid out quickly, K1 Pool is working on that. What they are doing is they're working on reducing the time it takes for you to get paid. And I gotta imagine they're doing this from their pool reserves because they can't speed up the protocol. So they're probably stockpiling and then able to pay you out sooner while then replenishing their stockpile from the block that you mined. And as of making this video, they're down to about nine days instead of the 14 with the goal of reducing that even further. So if your concern is getting paid out right away, like is kind of normal with mining, then I would stay with K1 Pool. But if you're looking for a really great dashboard, a, a supporting the project directly by using their stratum, even though they're not taking any fees from it, um, and it's just a wonderful mining experience, I think this is great. It's probably one of my favorite pool dashboards and just information and how clean it is that I've ever seen. I, I really enjoy it. And again, not sponsored, totally my opinion. <laughs> It's always my opinion, even if it is sponsored. But anyway, I hope this was helpful to you to get your GPUs moved over to Stratamax or to keep them on K1 pool if that's something that you want to do. And remember too that this is for your SHA-256, A6, and as well as your script A6 you can get going on here too. If you are GPU mining, I would love to hear from you down in the comment section below. Let me know what GPUs you're mining with, what pool you're deciding to use, and really how many GPUs you're mining with. Try to get like an idea of who's actually GPU mining out there these days since we've been through some quite rough times. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And as always, please take care of yourself and each other. And I'll see you in one of these other videos I'm gonna leave linked on the screen right here. One of them is how to get started mining Quai from scratch, both in Windows and in Hive OS. And if you're looking for something a little bit different, I'm going to leave a video here on one of my favorite at-home cryptocurrency miners for you to check out. See you in one of those videos.